yeah, we, we're going to go in. You, you're going to really learn what happened. You want to learn real history today. Am I clear? Shout out to the brothers. Am I clear? Shout out to the brothers. We're going to go in because, you know, that video, the, the, the last video I did with, uh, you know, on Frederick Douglass, I don't know why you quiches. I don't know why y'all be coming up. Quiches and, and uh, simps. I don't know why y'all be coming into the comment section. You don't get it. You don't get a say so. I, I immediately erase. You don't get a say so. But I see the same question posed. And I'm like, whoa, you sure you want to go down this road? It gets nasty for them if I go down this road. It gets very nasty for Keisha if I go down this road. Very nasty. It gets very nasty. Y'all don't even... Do y'all really know what Frederick Douglass went through, bef you know, before and after the brother transition? Do y'all really want to know? Shout out to KB with the with the super chat. McNabb. Before you initially start, fellas, make sure you hit the like button. Yeah, 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 hit the like button. Shout out to the brothers. But we, we're going to the, the truth. We're going to tell the true story about what happened with Frederick Douglass. I don't know why y'all, I don't know why y'all was asking for this, Keisha and Simps. I don't know why you was asking for this because this is about to get very very nasty. It's about to be some very nasty work. It's about to be some very nasty work. Hold on, we 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 gonna go. We gonna thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. Let's let's. And you had you had people lying, talking about he had three wives. He only had two. He had two wives. Anna Murray. Anna Murray Douglas, right? And Helen Pitts. He had two. Is it my phone or is he breaking up? Am I breaking up, fellas? Shout out to you, McNabb, with the five on the camera.
Okay, brother Zeke, what's happening? Not right now. Very clear. I'm clear. Because I don't want to start if I'm breaking up. All right. Now, um, Frederick Douglass. You know how he met. Okay, hold on. Hold on. This better? Can y'all hear me better? Like this? Okay. All right. She met Frederick Douglass, uh, Anna while he was still in bondage. You know, he was working on the docks. You know, she's from Maryland. She was born in, in, in Denton, Maryland. So he met her while she met him while he was on the docks working, right? Well, in bondage. Right. So let me tell you, she, her, her parents, her parents right before her birth was given their freedom. And after that, she started working as a laundress and a housekeeper. When she met Frederick Douglass, Frederick Douglass looked at her and said to her because she looked down at him at first. I need y'all to understand that. This wasn't just one day. This was this was days after days after days she would come down to the dock with her work in her hand and he would kick it to her. Like, hey, you you think you free? The difference between me and you is I know I'm not free. You think because they gave you some papers that said you free, those papers can't get taken away from you and you end up being in bondage. You think because you work for Brad, you work under them, that you're better than people who are in bondage. He was he was breaking it down to her that she's no more than him. He, the difference is he understands he's in bondage. This is in 1838. They try to make it seem like, like that, like Frederick Douglass envied her freedom and say and thought that, oh, you know, if she's free. Why can't I be free? No, no, no. That's not how it went. He basically told her, "Listen, you come with me instead of working under them. We could build a home together." We could raise a family, children. We don't have to do any of this. So he escaped. 
when he escaped, he sent for her. He sent for her. You know, once he made it to New York, she came and followed him. And then they started their household. They were married in that same year. They were married in the same year, 1838. Now, this is where things started to get shifty because a lot of these a lot of these quiches and simps was like, oh, he 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 married a Becky. Do you know how long he was with Anna? He was with Anna, his first wife, for 34 years. He didn't get Shout out to uh, Black Pill with the $2. Uh, some slaves did not want freedom. Um, see, technically, technically, she wasn't a slave because, you know, her parents were given their freedom. So she was born a month after her parents were given freedom. So she was born free. But he was telling her that she wasn't free at all. So check this out, right? Um, he was with her for 34 years. The, uh, he only ended up with Helen after Anna passed away in 1882. And excuse me, not not uh, thirty four years. Excuse me, not thirty four years. Pardon me. I'm thinking of I'm thinking of another marriage. I'm thinking of a, it's uh, forty forty four years. 44 years they were together, excuse me. Not 34, 44. So where that's where the whole black myth came from. Okay, no, okay, so I need you to understand he was married to this woman for 44 years, right? When she when she when she transitioned in in uh, eighteen eighty two. Now this is where this is where we get this is where we get to it. She was she was in the home, right? She was in the home. She was you know cooking, cleaning. And then she got tired of it. I need you to understand something. She got tired of it because Frederick was outside doing speeches. He was outside doing speeches. Are you following me? He he was he he was making an income from doing speeches. Now, when he was making an income from doing speeches, he was outside a lot. When he was outside, they used to have arguments because she didn't like the fact that he was out there doing speeches. And not home a lot, but he had a greater purpose.
He had a greater purpose. So he would come home to arguments. He would come home to a tense situation at home. Black Pill with, with the super chat. Can you please answer the question? Is it true or false that some slaves did not want freedom? That's true. That's true. That is true. Some some of them didn't want to leave the plantation. That is true. Now, this is the thing. When he when he would come home, they used to have arguments. They used to struggle. The relationship was struggling, even though he still was out there supporting the family from the income that he was making from his speeches. He was traveling all over the country trying to get rights, not just for black men, but for black women also. This is what he was doing. And yet he was coming home and he was getting into all types of dis, you know disagreements with his wife. So, what does that leave him? What does that leave him? No, I'm. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm just waiting. Because I'm I'm seeing a lot of quiches and, and simps coming out of nowhere. And I'm like, are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure you want to do this? So she got mad at Frederick Douglass, right? Because Frederick Douglass was educating himself. He was a self-taught man. And she was upset because she didn't think that she can fit in the circles that he was a part of. Do you understand what that means? Do you understand what that means? Do you understand what that means? That means she felt inferior around these Brads, right? And, 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 and uh, Becky's, she didn't want to be a part of it because she felt that they were way too educated for her. So she actually punished, she punished Frederick Douglass for trying to make change. She said that she did not, you know, she, you know, she she basically said she, she did not fit in with the social circles that Douglas was moving in. And it led to them being estranged. And you know what, you know what ended up happening when they were end, when they were estranged, she started accusing him of basically being out there philandering started accusing him of cheating yeah get this get this out of here hey hey no quiches Keisha no quiches allowed I don't know why you're here beat it Now, this is in 1838 when they got together, and then 1848, they started, you know, they by 1848, they had around five children. And the first 10 years of their life. Now, what I want you to understand, right, is that 
is that um hold on yeah beat it now which I what I want y'all to understand that when he married her right 10 years later yeah when he married her 10 years later is when he went to the first national with the first women's national convention that I was telling you about with um with uh Susan B Anthony and Elizabeth Cady Stanton that was in 1848 right that was in 1848 so since that was in that was in 1848 he was married to Anna Murray, he was he was married to a black woman, right? What do you think he saw? What did you think he saw when Susan B. Anthony? Because I told you on the video before that they started a group together and he disbanded because he saw what they were doing. What do you think he saw when Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth Cady Stanton? started going to black women for support what do you think he saw what do you think he saw when he's black men were going for the vote what do you think he saw when black men were going for the vote Come on, come on, Keith. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. I need you to help flag in. I don't, I don't, I really don't know who that dude is, but we're not doing that, Keith. We're talking about something here. How you come in here and ask the brothers in here to go flag some up some other dude's channel? We're not talking about that. Y'all got to stop doing that. Y'all really got to stop doing that. We're, we're, we're talking about something very important right now. That's very disrespectful. You got you don't got no respect? Come on. that That's something Keisha's be doing. Just going up and talking about whatever they want to talk about in somebody else's space. We're talking about something important right now. Now, now again, what do you think, Frederick Douglass, what did you think he was doing? You know what he saw? Let me tell you what he saw. He saw Ida B. Wells champion them he saw Ida B. Wells writing columns in her newspaper for them he saw Ida B. Wells marching for them and then he saw Ida B. Wells get kicked out of the convention you know what else he saw you know what else Frederick Douglass saw he saw Sojourner Truth He saw Sojourner Truth. You know what he saw at Sojourner Truth? He saw Sojourner Truth say that black men shouldn't get the vote because if black men get the vote, they'll be worse than the slave owners, the, the masters. That's what she said. That's what she said. He saw that. He saw black women. That's what he saw. He saw black women. Yeah, get a yeah, get up, get up out of here. You're done. You're done. You see these quiches? You see these quiches? They hate the truth, man. <laughs> exactly. What a disgusting quote by Sojourner. And and you know what's crazy? Sojourner Truth saw that. 
she saw what the slave owners was doing. She witnessed the brutality. She witnessed the degenerate acts and still said that. And still said that. So he's he's sitting back watching. Frederick Douglass is sitting back watching because he's in these spaces with, with uh, Becky. He's in there. He's analyzing the spaces with Becky. Becky is pretending she's for the cause. This is what they do. Becky was pretending she was for the cause. And he peeped it immediately. He peeped it immediately. And he told Keisha's, hey, listen, don't follow this. He was tough. Don't follow this. After when he figured they was out, after the group they, they, they had together disbanded, he told them, don't follow this. They followed it anyway. It caused a lot of dissensions amongst black communities that were just developing. It was in the starting, we, we was in the infant stages. And they went and went, I'm telling you, they went and worked for Becky for free right after bondage. Right after bondage. Oh, that, that Keisha's is coming out full throttle. Right from the beginning. So Frederick Douglass is watching this. I need y'all to understand. Frederick Douglass is watching this. He's watching them go against the men that is trying to build communities for them, right? And he's watching them champion Becky for Becky to get the vote. Becky is telling them, if you give us the vote, we'll help y'all down the line. Becky is telling them, don't be under the leadership of them. And if you're going to be under the leadership of them, try to sway them to give us the vote instead. That's Becky go to move. You understand that this is the same tactics they used a hundred years later and it worked. These tactics work twice. These tactics work twice. Now, What happened? What happened afterwards? What happened afterwards? Black men get the vote, right? Black men get the vote in 1870. You know what black men could have did? You know what black men could have did? Black men could have said, you know what, y'all traitors. Y'all are traitors. He said, yeah, y'all were y'all are traitors. That's what black men could have did. Black men could have said, y'all are traitors. We're not rocking with y'all. We're not dealing with y'all. But instead. Instead, black men said, okay, we're still going to take you in. We're still going to support you. We're still going to make sure you're okay. We're still going to provide for you, right? Now, in 1882, Anna Murray passed. His first wife passed. His first wife passed. So 
1884, he remarried. Now, when he remarried, everybody was against it. He remarried. He remarried um, a Becky by the name of Helen Pitts. Now, when he remarried in 1884, his children exiled him. Y'all don't know that. His children exiled him. His children want nothing to do with him. His children want, wanted nothing to do with him. But you know who was doing more damage to his reputation? You know who was doing more damage to his reputation? Take a, I want y'all to take a good guess. He had five children. Four boys and one girl. Who you think was doing more damage to his reputation? Exactly. 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 And you know why? Because what it what happened was after he got married to Helen Pitts. First of all, we already know that he had issues politically. We already know he had issues politically with that. Of course, that was a problem. Of course, that was a problem. But the sons, the sons, they had an issue with it, but they got over it. It was the daughter who, after his death, was writing very negative things about her father because of him getting with that Becky. Because of him getting with that Becky. And guess, let me let me explain something. Come on, stop beefing in the comments. Stop beefing in the comments. Let's let's just get it on. Let's let's get to it. Yeah, no, not in the, not in the comments because we getting somewhere. Now, when his daughter, his daughter name is Rosetta Douglas. Rosetta Douglas. She started writing after her father's death. She started writing. These, these articles talking about, you know, her mother endured a lot dealing with Frederick Douglass. Her voice was never heard. Frederick Douglass, her father, this is her father she's talking about. And she's talk, talking about her father like this to Brad's and Becky, right? Because she's, she's, she's writing this down. And she's talking about how he wasn't, he wasn't there. He, you know, her mother was always the one taking care of stuff, just going in on him, right? And she went on to become a founding member 
of the National Association for Colored Women. She went on. She went on to become a founding member of the National Association for Colored Women. Now, I want you to get this right. Frederick Douglass didn't make no National Association for the Advancement of Colored for Black Men, uh, National Advancement for Black Men. He didn't make any of these things. I need y'all to understand something. He wasn't doing any of these things at all. His whole goal is to have equality for black men and black women. That was his goal. Uh, I'm telling you, these quiches, when they started getting some sort of prominence or some sort of attention, they only cared about themselves because every time you turn around, it was some sort of association or some sort of corporation was always for them, for them. It was for them. It wasn't the National Association for Colored People. It was the National Association for Colored Women, meaning they trying to advance themselves out of being with black men. This is what she did. This is what she did. This was something they always did. And 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 this was in eighteen ninety six. Understand something. Understand what I'm saying to y'all. You see what black men are doing now? Do you see what black men are doing right now? What black men are doing right now, Frederick Douglass, been the the thing is Frederick Douglass, and this is what I mean, he cared about the kids. He cared about the kids. He cared about the kids. He wanted the kids to succeed, and all of them did. So he stayed there. He suffered and stayed there. They was married for 44 years. He made sure the kids became something. He made sure the kids became something. They all became something, all five of them, all five of them, even his daughter, even though she went against black men, they all became something. So let's let's go through the, the children. 
Let's go through the children. Yeah, Frederick Frederick Douglass Jr. He was a he, he also was an abolitionist, right? He was a newspaper editor and an official recruiter of colored soldiers for the United States Union Army during the Civil War, right? Lewis Henry Douglas He was, he was the, you know, he, um, Lewis Henry Douglas was an American military sergeant major. He fought for one of the first official African American units in the United States during the Civil War. I'm telling his son, his 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 kids became something. And Charles Charles Remond Douglas, right? He was the youngest son of Frederick Frederick Douglas, right? And he was the first African-American man to enlist in the military in New York during the Civil War. Now, do you see what his sons was doing? Do you see what his sons was doing? Now you had you had Annie Douglas who tragically passed at the age of 10. And but, but then you had Rosetta Douglas who grew up to be what? Yeah, yeah, she grew up to be a, a exactly a feminist. She grew up to be that. So I'm telling you, history is just repeating itself. Remember when I told you about Keisha culture? Keisha culture existed back then too. It existed back then too. Here you have a man who's fighting. Here you have is a man who's fighting for rights for black people. He's not saying, oh, black men black or black he's saying for black people when Keisha started getting with the feminist movement the feminist movement was telling them don't fight for them don't advocate for them advocate for yourself that's why you see all these groups early when it came to Keisha any everything had women in it colored women colored women is colored women that it was nothing that had black men to do with anything, even though black men were still taking care of them. Black men were still taking care of them. Now, here's the nasty part. Here's the other nasty part. Here's the nasty part. Out of all of them, guess who took care of him? Guess who was looking out for his legacy the most? Take a good guess who was looking out his for his legacy the most. Who 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 you think was looking out for his legacy the most? Exactly, Ali. Out of all of them, guess who was looking out for his legacy the most? His second wife. 
Let me tell you what happened. You know, um, when he died, right? He left the state, Cedar Hill. He left the, the Cedar Hill to Helen. He left it to Helen, his wife, right? When he left it to them, there wasn't enough witnesses to basically say, hey, you know what? This is a true and tried uh, will. So it was contested and it was ruled invalid. She suggested to her children and their spouses that they agree to set Cedar Hill as part of a memorial to their father. As part of a memorial to their father, the children declined, assisting that the estate be sold and the money divided amongst all the heirs. Now, this is what she did. This is what she did just to keep his legacy going after Frederick Douglass passed. To keep his legacy going, she borrowed money. She borrowed money so she can buy the property from them. And then devoted the rest of her life to planning and establishing the Frederick Douglass Memorial and Historical Association. Do you see, are you hearing what I'm saying to y'all? Are y'all hearing what I'm saying to y'all? She borrowed money. She put herself in debt to make sure that his legacy will live on. That he, she had to buy. Imagine this. I want you to imagine this. She, he gave the will, you know, the will, he gave her the estate. He said, here, the estate is yours. After he died, his children came and contested it and they, the, the estate went to them, right? And then she borrowed money to get the estate back so she can dedicate it to her, to her husband as a memorial for him. And then she put in her will, if the money is not paid off in her lifetime, money from the sale of the property should go to two college scholarships in her and Frederick's name. She agreed on the condition that the scholarships be in Douglas' name only. Because they were saying, how about it being your, your name and Douglas' name? Your name and his name together. She said, no, put it in his name only, the scholarships. What's up, Salty, with, with the super chat? The dying eminent feminists have limited stimulus who hide in their timidness. Becky loved darkness like 10 Guinnesses. The first sin was simping in Genesis. What do, what do you, what do you, what do, what do you got bars? You got bars, Salty? <laughs> Shout to Salty with the bars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that Salty got bars. No, but understand something. This is what she did. This is what she did. Now, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you what, after she did that. Let me tell you what's foul. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all. This is the reason why he got with Becky in his last years. Let me tell you what happened. 
After Helen Pitts Douglas died in 1903, right? She had wished to be buried on the site of Cedar Hill. But the laws prevented it. So she had no memorial service. And then she was buried next to Frederick Douglass in Rochester. After her death, after her death, the National Association of Colored Women, right? I want you to understand the National Association of Colored Women, which is his his daughter was one of the founders, raised funds to buy Cedar Hill. She raised funds to buy Cedar Hill. Now, Cedar Hill was supposed to be a memorial. Was supposed to be a memorial for Frederick Douglass. It was supposed to be a memorial for Frederick Douglass. Cedar Hill was supposed to be a His daughter made sure that they gathered the funds to buy Cedar Hill and take it away. It wasn't a memorial no more. Now it's open for tours to inform visitors of Douglas' contributions to freedom. But at the time, they said, nah, they, he gets no memorial. Took it away. Are you sure you wanted to go down this road? Huh, Keisha? To all you Keishas listening, are you sure you want to go down this road? No, you didn't want to go down this road. That's the reason why he ended up with a Becky. He saw what black women were doing. He stayed in that marriage because he wanted the children to grow up to be something. That's a sacrifice. That's a sacrifice that a lot of black men make. They be in these marriages. They don't want to be in them anymore, but they there because they got to raise the children. They want the children to grow up to be something. And they know that if they're not in the household, the children is going to grow up to be nothing. And all those children, they all grew up to be something. They all made their mark. His three sons, they made their mark. You heard what I, you, you, you heard their accomplishments that I read off to y'all. These was incredible accomplishments. Incredible accomplishments. But what was his daughter's accomplishment, right? Even though she grew up to be something, what was her accomplishment of creating something that takes away her father to try to take away from her father's legacy. And 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 not to mention, they didn't get Becky didn't get the vote until 50 years later. Becky didn't get the vote until 50 years later. She had Keisha doing her dirty work, and Keisha was running around. After, after black men got the vote, Keisha was running around looking at Becky like, well, where do we go from here? You know what Becky did? Becky went back to their husbands. Becky went back to their husbands. Keisha was left out there in the cold. And guess who took him back in? Guess who took him back in? Black men took him back in. Black men took him right back in.
And you're going to talk about why did he get what a Becky? Why did he in his last years? He pro- he. Let me tell you something. You know what he wanted? He wanted some peace. That's what he wanted. He wanted some peace. He wanted some peace. She was 21 years younger than him. She understood his vision. He was an older man. He was he, he knew his time was coming soon. He knew his time was coming soon, even though he lived, you know, a little longer than he expected. He knew his time was coming soon. And for those remaining years, he wanted some peace. And she provided him with peace. She provided him with peace. You know how you could tell she provided him with peace? Look what she did afterwards. Look what she did afterwards. She put herself in debt. I'm telling you, just look at it from... She was given the estate by her husband. The kids came and took the estate away. She went and borrowed the money to get the estate back. Just so she can dedicate it to him. She put herself in debt. When the last time... When the last time Akisha put herself in debt for you? I want to ask, I'm going to ask you, I'm going to ask you again. This was in, I'm going to ask you again. Can y'all hear me? Well, first of all, can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Okay, cool. Because I see some interference. They look like they're trying to take the live down. It looks like they're trying to take the live down. Let me tell you something. When was the last time... Akisha went into debt for you. They go into debt for everything else. When the last time they went into debt for you? 